coronavirus has now infected more than 90,000 people worldwide. Infections are spreading through Europe with more than 2,500 in Italy alone. Here in the U.S., the official count tops 100 across at least 15 states and at least 25 people have died. Katherine Johnson has the very latest. With dozens of cases of coronavirus, Washington state remains the epicenter of the nation's outbreak. Most of the deaths have been at this nursing home outside Seattle. Relatives are concerned many more are infected, but have not yet been tested. I just feel they're covering it up at this point. I just feel there's something going on that they don't want to they don't want to admit. Washington Senator Patty Murray grilled health officials about delays in testing. I have people in my state who may have been exposed. Uh, they cannot get answers about where to go. The head of the FDA says a private company is close to shipping out thousands of kits to labs across the country for states to test. 2,500 test kits by the end of the week. That should give us the capacity in the hands of laboratories once they validate to perform up to a million tests. President Trump says the administration has met with officials from 30 states to help contain the virus and that he's pushing the nation's biggest drug makers for a vaccine. A lot of good things are happening and they're happening very fast. I said, do me a favor, speed it up, speed it up, and they will. The president visited the vaccine lab at the National Institutes of Health. Director Anthony Fauci says researchers are working full speed, but that a vaccine is up to a year and a half away. We emphasize to the president that since we'll be giving the vaccine to normal, healthy people, that safety is very important, and you really need to know that it, that it actually works. The Federal Reserve announced an emergency interest rate cut to support the economy, but it failed to stop the stock market from another triple-digit sell-off. Katherine Johnson, CBS News, Washington. And a correction, nine people have died from coronavirus across America. And the World Health Organization is asking people to stop hoarding masks because healthcare workers actually need them.